I'm Benoni Rutaya. I'm a visual artist. I work at in August House, from August House, and my studio is in Newtown with the Beck Factory. And I've been working as a professional artist for nearly five years now. In an attempt to minimize resources and still be able to do what I have to do, I have to think and improvise. In fact, initially I was cutting papers direct from magazines, colored bits, and used them to build pictures. Now, I try to learn to paint every day, and so doing, I mix color on papers. They can they work as my palette while I'm painting. So when I'm not painting, I have got all that trash. It becomes another source of material to create art. So basically, my collage and mixed media work is the result of the painting process, whether it worked or it didn't. actually a very interesting space, like you can see, it's so huge, you can work on any size of work without being restricted by the size of what you can create and what you can put in this space. I always say the bag factory was the best thing that has ever happened to me. As a space, the community of people there, and artists of all different stages of experience, and Part of the reason is my motivation being at August House is again a setup of a community because since I benefited from that community, I believe I can benefit from a community of other fellow artists and I share what I have, I share with they share what they have. We are supposed to grow from feeding each other, not only to create art, but how to go out there, how to engage the world, how to make our work more meaningful to the world, and not just creating art. I believe my work is based on my personal history and the experiences I have gone through and what I see other people have gone through. That's the core element of my own work, it's what I'm trying to communicate with my work. It's not enough to just communicate with it. If you communicate with your work and talk about issues and the community responds, that's not the end of the story. You have a great message with your work about the ordinary person you want to become a voice for, but they actually don't understand it. First of all, they don't know the gallery, they don't know about art. How do you bridge that? And I feel that is the disconnect that exists between the art world and the real world. Because the real art world is a closed circuit of the informed and the creators and the dealers. The real world, which the art world attempt to communicate about, they don't really understand that. So I want to put my resources where my mouth is. If you are an artist, you need two basic things to make your message or your work relevant. You need to create a profile. In the art world, if you were an unknown, you were nobody. It's not enough to build a profile. You need the world to know you. So the profile helps you, helps the world to know you. So how do you do that? Magazines like Art Africa, they document you. They give you a profile. So if you want to get those people to understand the art world, to give it meaning, then you need magazines, you need platforms like the magazines to extend that message to them. That art fair, I always say the advantage has got over other art, traditional established art fairs, is despite being new, it's exciting. It gives them opportunity to everyone. You think you are good enough? Put in your application, be assessed. If you are really good enough, you'll get a chance to show your work. Even if you don't make a sale, 
if you are good enough, you are going to be noticed by collectors because they pass through. You are going to be noticed by other media reporting about the event because your work features there. Galerists will go through, dealers will go through. It opens up so many opportunities for you. So if you dedicate yourself to create art and you want to create a career, you need these platforms to give you the exposure, the profile, you know, the document about these events. People get to know about them. And as an artist, especially here in Africa, where we have place of those opportunities, the best thing that can happen to you. In the nearest future, I will be receiving uh, an entrepreneurial award in Frankfurt, Germany, upcoming month, which is December, um, as the face of African youth. It's a big one because it's international. They look at all Africans in the diaspora and the African continent. So to be identified and recognized, it means we are doing the right job. And next year, I'm participating in the Sydney Art Fair, the African Art Fair in London, and the Hong Kong Art Fair. So for the first time, I'll be breaking the barrier take the step beyond the African continent. I think it's a positive step. And next year as well, I'll be taking over a residency in Europe for five months, sponsored by the Southern African Foundation for Contemporary Art. I think there are some of the things that makes you realize, yes, you are doing something right. <laughs>